Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Herman Miller Mira 2. Now this is a great chair that isn't spoken about enough. It's a great alternative to the Aeron. It's a couple of hundred dollars cheaper and it comes with almost all the same functions and adjustability. Not only that, it also comes in a wide range of colors that's great for office environment or to brighten up your home. Now at first glance, this chair might seem futuristic and something that might have been recently released but you would be surprised to find out that this was released back in the 1990s. I say that like it's really long ago but in the 1990s, this Mira, the second version, was released to the public. Now this was an upgraded version of the original Mira and it was a great alternative to the Aeron. Now at the time of making this video, the Aeron cost about $1,695 whereas the Mira comes in at $8,265. Now the prices might differ depending on the different upgrades and add-ons for each of these chairs, but you kind of get the idea, the Mira is a more affordable option than the Aeron. Now whether these two are comparable is a whole different story and I might do a video on that. So leave a comment if you guys want to see that video and I might just make that one. But today let's just dive into the Mira 2. Now first of all, let's start with the aesthetics. Now this chair honestly looks great. It has a lot of curvy edges which makes it look pleasing to the eye. It has a very futuristically designed frame. And overall, the different colors makes it very bright in your home or in your office. Now there are a few color options that you're able to select starting with the base finish. For the chair that we have today, it's in a fog and studio white combination colors. These colors are spread across the different frames, armrests, as well as the legs of the chair. The second colour option that you can choose from is for the backrest and the seat. Today we have the dark turquoise on this chair which looks really nice paired up with the white. However, there are other colours that you can choose from based on the Herman Miller website. Now before we move on any further, there are two different options for the backrest. The one that I'm sitting on is called the butterfly backrest. It comes with a fabric layer which makes it a lot more comfortable to sit on. The other option is the Tri-Flex which does not come with this fabric layer. However, it does look a bit more breathable but some of you might be turned off with the hardness of the surface. Now the other thing to note with this chair is that it does not come with a headrest. So for those of you who are used to a headrest or need some form of support for your head, this might not be the chair for you. But for someone like me who doesn't really need a headrest, I think this chair is perfectly fine. It has a very broad shoulder support which is great for larger sized people. And overall, it's a really comfortable chair. Now apart from the curvature of the backrest, the armrest also is a really nice curved design. Now this is something I haven't seen on other Herman Miller chairs. Usually they are curved slightly but not as much as this armrest. This one has a really nice teardrop profile which makes it really comfortable to put your hands in almost any position. So this allows you more flexibility in the way you want to position your hands or the way certain types of people sit. And I think this is a very comfortable option and also doesn't look too aggressive in any environment. Now last of all, the casters are in a solid black which is pretty minimalistic and there's not much attention to be drawn to that. So let's move on to the ergonomics of this chair. Now first of all, this chair only comes in a single size. Unlike the Aeron that comes in a size A, B and C, this one comes in one size. And if I had to place my marker on it, it would be somewhere closer to the size B on an Aeron. Um, I have the Aeron in a size B and that's how I can compare it. So this fits very well for a person of my size. I'm about 169 centimeters tall and I weigh about 90 kilograms. It really gives me enough support and the armrests are wide enough for me. However, I do feel that these armrests might be a little too wide for someone of a smaller stature and although the width is adjustable, it might not be close enough for some people. Now since we are talking about the armrest, it does come with all the adjustabilities that you might expect. You have the forwards and back adjustment, the side to side width adjustment as well as the tilt angle adjustments. You can also raise and lower the armrest using the latch on the side. The thing that I really like about the armrest height adjustment is that it comes in steps so that you know exactly how high you're going and can match that very easily on the other side. Now this is slightly different from the mechanisms in other chairs where you simply use a button to release the height adjustment without any step adjustment so you don't really know how far up you're going and it can be a bit annoying to even out the two armrests. Now let's move to the lumbar support which is arguably the most important adjustment for most of us. Now the lumbar support on the Mira 2 is known as the posture fit. It was designed to be visually light and to have a form that follows its functional design. The lumbar height and tension can be adjusted, although the tension adjustment isn't as aggressive as I'd like. 
Now on the website, you can choose to have this lumbar support or have it without. Now I would recommend you have it because it just costs about 60 US dollars more. And honestly, it's not as aggressive, but it does support your back really well. Now moving on to the seat. Now one of my favorite adjustments is of course the seat depth adjustment. And unlike other chairs, the seat bucket doesn't actually move. The only thing that moves is the front lip. And that's actually really good because you don't want to move the entire design and the shape of the chair and alter the way the ergonomics was designed. Instead, just adjusting the front lip to suit the support of your legs is sufficient enough. Now, I really like the mechanics of this adjustment. It doesn't take too many mechanical parts, but instead relies on the flexibility of the frame material. Now, this in itself is actually really elegant and really easy to use. And it's one of my favorite parts of the Mira 2. Now, of course, you're going to get the seat height adjustment, which ranges from 40 centimeters all the way to 52 centimeters, which is exactly the same as the Aeron size B. So I was pretty accurate when I was comparing these two chairs. Now, as for the tilt of this chair, there is a tilt limiter with three different positions, a fully reclined position, a middle position, as well as a fully upright position. Now, on the same adjustment knob, there is an additional tab that you can use to allow the seat bucket to tilt forward to have a more aggressive stance. So this is great if you want to have a more focused and aggressive position on your desk, maybe you're playing some games or having to focus more on your work. Now this is a position that I rarely use but I'm glad it's there for some of you who might want a more aggressive position. Now the other thing with the tilt is of course the tension adjustment. Now there is a knob on the right side of the seat that gives you some micro adjustments in the tension and the strength of the tilt. This is something that's really crucial nowadays in most ergonomic chairs so that it supports your weight correctly and gives you that floating effect when you're leaning back. So to sum this whole video up, I think this is a great alternative to the Aeron. Although I haven't compared it side by side, it seems to have all the adjustabilities that the Aeron has, but you're paying a slightly cheaper price for it. It does also come in a lot more color options. The Aeron only comes in a silver and a black, which can be a bit boring for some of you. Having a wide variety of colors allows people to match it to their office theme or brighten up their home offices. However, like I said earlier, the lumbar support isn't as aggressive as some other chairs and the fact that the chair only comes in one size might not suit everybody out there. But if this chair does suit you and your size, you can be sure that you're buying a quality product. Overall, I do feel that this is a really comfortable chair, something that I'm comfortable working in for long hours and something that I feel more people should look into as compared to the Aeron or the Embody. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this has been informative and helpful for you guys. If you guys want to see the comparison of the Mira 2 with the Aeron, do comment below and let me know. If not, like this video. If you liked it, subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys in the next one.